Look, I really don't know why the rest of the lamestream media isn't talking about this very serious Joe Biden scandal, but as far as I know, there's only one journalist courageous enough to actually speak the truth about this specific topic. And I am, of course, referring to a host at Newsmax TV who is the only one willing to call out Joe Biden for something that he did that is so beyond the pale that I think that he should resign in shame because of this. Take a look. All right, folks, I want you to take a look at this. Joe Biden today getting on Marine One, and he stops and picks up, I think it's a dandelion, but it's a dandelion that hasn't even blossomed into a flower yet. Like, it gives everybody asthma. So you blow it, it goes everywhere, and then everybody starts sneezing. Well, he picks up the weed and gives it to Jill as what I guess is supposed to be some kind of a sweet gesture. He's getting dandelions all over the place. I say it was a planted dandelion there. Who knows? Folks, I want... Look, I've got to hand it to Newsmax TV. Nobody else holds the powerful accountable like them. So I truly am uh, thankful for their service. <laughs> <laughs> he literally is creating a conspiracy theory about a dandelion. <laughs> oh my God. This is what brain rot looks like. We'll call it Biden brain rot because Joe Biden is just so evil in his mind that anything that joe biden does even if it's something that is very obviously benign and insignificant is is inherently bad because biden did it if biden comes out in favor of ice cream cookies and video games you have to take the opposite stance just because biden is so terrible i mean do they even want to have the veneer of respectability this is this is laughable he formulated a conspiracy Conspiracy around a dandelion. He said, I say it was a planted dandelion there, but who knows? Hang on a second. You literally think that they planted a dandelion there. Also, also Joe Biden can pick it up. <laughs> Just thinking through the logic, you have to be a fucking moron. Now, look, do I think that it's, it's kind of funny that he gave her a dandelion. Sure, because, I mean, what is she going to do? Put it in her pocket? It reminds me of the meme from The Office where Angela was given a rose by Andy, and she was like, What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> so I'm sure that uh, Jill Biden blew it and then, like, threw it away. I don't know. <laughs> the fact that they even talked about this is so funny. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Honestly, I feel delirious reporting on this story. It, it's that batshit insane. Uh, but here's the thing. If Joe Biden actually um, handled the dandelion a different way, it would have been much, much funnier. So my recommendation is that Joe Biden should have done this when he saw the dandelion. Oh, look, a dandelion. Must be the last one of the season. Imagine, <laughs> imagine how Newsmax would react if Joe Biden did that. He should definitely do that just to fuck with them. <laughs> I want to watch it one more time. Oh, look. A dandelion. Must be the last one of the season. Oh, my God. Now, for those of you who don't get the reference, she's quoting Sid from Ice Age, and I give her an A-plus for her impression. Look, I've got to say, um, of all the things to be angry at Joe Biden over, the dandelion, definitely not one of them. Definitely gets a pass on this one. I think that we can all safely assume that no harm has been done by him picking up a dandelion. Maybe he told Jill Biden to make a wish. Doesn't matter if she ate the dandelion. Still not a scandal. The real scandals relate to his policies. What he does. Not these weird, benign gestures between him and his wife. I mean, it's a little bit weird, but it's also sweet. Who cares? It's a it's a dandelion. Jesus Christ. You know, when you're that, that deranged, when you have Biden brain rot that bad, you can make a conspiracy theory out of everything. If Joe Biden were to, like, fart during a press conference, they would try to make it seem as if there's a conspiracy theory where it was, like, planted there. And the fart is like, the ripple of the fart is Morse code, and there's some sort of uh, secret message that you have to decode because he's signaling something to the satanic pedophiles in America. They honestly can make 
a conspiracy out of anything. It's almost impressive the way that they're so deluded that they can actually get this creative. But normal people, they actually don't give a shit about this. But um, Newsmax is not for normal people. Newsmax is for people with uh, worms in their head who um, probably eat paint chips and tie their own shoelaces together and blame someone else when they trip. I'll leave that there. Oh my God. This is the dumbest thing I think I've ever talked about, literally, on the Humanist Report.